National Conference and Congress Alliance won the much anticipated assembly elections in Jammu and Kashmir conducted after a decade. Months ahead of the polls, stalwarts of all political parties in fray flocked to the valley. Hum chahte the ki chunav se pehle aapko statehood mile aur state banne ke baad chunav ho. वो दिन भी जल्द आएगा जब जम्मू और कश्मीर फिर से राज्य के रूप में अपना फ्यूचर और बेहतर बनाएगा स्टेटहुड का तो मैं बोला हूं स्टेटहुड जरूर देंगे और उसके लिए हम जरूर लड़ेंगे ये मोदी जी कभी दबाव में काम नहीं करते निष्ठा के साथ काम करते हैं उनकी कन्विक्शन है कि स्टेटहुड बहाल करना The Union Territory will see a functioning government after six years. The last elections were held in 2014, when PDP and BJP formed a coalition government. But the alliance did not last long, and JNK fell into president's rule for a brief period in 2018. In 2019, its anatomy changed when Ladakh was carved out of Jammu and Kashmir, and both were made Union territories. After people's mandate gave 47 seats to the NC Congress Alliance the question that lingers on will Jammu and Kashmir get back its much awaited statehood but how did a state with special status lose its statehood altogether behind that is the crucial article 370 first things first what is article 370 in 1950 when the constitution of india came into force so did article 370 It provided a special status to Jammu and Kashmir. Article 370 granted Kashmir autonomy of internal administration, allowing it to make its own laws in all internal matters except finance, defense, foreign affairs and communications. It also denied property rights to outsiders in the region. In 1954, the Delhi Agreement was implemented, guaranteeing territorial integrity to Jammu and Kashmir besides introducing Article 35A conferring special rights to permanent citizens of JNK per article 35a provisions permanent residents of Jammu and Kashmir had the right to work for the state government right to buy property in the state right to settle in the state right to vote and contest elections to receive scholarship and other forms of aid and to receive benefits in education and healthcare Under Article 370, President of India had wide powers to amend constitutional provisions in Jammu and Kashmir. What led to abrogation of Article 370? Let's go back to the Jammu and Kashmir of 2014. In November December 2014 assembly elections were held. PDP won 28 seats. National Conference could only win 15. BJP won 25 seats and Congress won 12 seats. No single party had the majority. PDP and BJP decided to form an alliance and coalition government was formed with PDP chief Mufti Mohammad Said as the chief minister. He took the oath in March 2015 but passed away in January 2016 and the state briefly went under governor's rule. Said's daughter and current chief of PDP Mehbooba Mufti took over as chief minister. Come 2018 Cracks began to emerge within the PDP and BJP after the killing of terror outfit Hizbul Mujahideen's commander Burhan Wani and subsequent violent protests that killed 85 people. Two years in, centers pushed to resume counterterrorism operations in the valley and Mufti's push back to the way the situation in the state was being handled ended the unholy alliance. BJP pulled out and the coalition government fell in June 2018. In December 2018 president's rule was imposed in Jammu and Kashmir. In May 2019 BJP won the national elections a second time in a row and came back to power in the Lok Sabha with a thumping majority. The abrogation in 2019. It all started with the reports of lockdown, internet shutdown, house arrests and detentions of Kashmir's political leaders. Fire valley is under control. सम पार्ट्स ऑफ द जम्मू कश्मीर वो भी कर्फ्यू के अंदर है कश्मीर कर्फ्यू के अंदर है ऑन ऑगस्ट 5 2019 इन अ बोल्ड मूव द इंडियन गवर्नमेंट एब्रोगेटेड आर्टिकल 370 ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ इंडिया कि 370 है आतंक 
आतंकवाद की जनक है इसलिए 370 का जाने का समय आ गया है और अगर आज 370 नहीं जाती है तो आतंकवाद को हम जम्मू कश्मीर से नाबूद नहीं कर पाएंगे The Jammu and Kashmir Recognition Act was passed to reconstitute the state of Jammu and Kashmir into union territories of Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh with effect from October 31, 2019. The scrapping of Article 370 evoked massive protests from opposition led by the Congress. Even BJP ally JDU shocked everyone by opposing the move. Former Chief Ministers Mehbooba Mufti, Umar Abdullah, Farooq Abdullah were kept under house arrest. Separatist leaders Sayyid Ali Gilani and Omar Farooq were detained. Shah Faisal, an ex-IS officer turned political leader, and Mia Abdul Qayyum, former president of Kashmir High Court Bar Association, were taken into custody. Arrests were made under the Draconian Public Safety Act and Unlawful Activities Prevention Act. Passports of independent journalists were revoked, and the valley saw the longest internet shutdown anywhere in a democracy. At least 4000 people were detained across the valley. On August 10, National Conference filed a petition contending that the changes in the status of the state had taken away the rights of its citizens without their mandate. Jammu and Kashmir saw 500 incidents of stone pelting and protests in just August since the abrogation. In September, a five-judge constitution bench was set up to hear pleas challenging the abrogation of Article 370. In March 2020 the Supreme Court declined to refer to larger seven judge bench a batch of petitions challenging constitutionality of the abrogation a three member delimitation commission was formed chaired by retired justice Ranjana Prakash Desai for the delimitation of the union territory of Jammu and Kashmir in October the political leaders who were detained for several months met and resolved to fight legally and democratically for the restoration of Jammu and Kashmir's special status PDP NC CPIM People's Conference Awami National Conference CPI and People's Movement formed People's Alliance for Gupkar Declaration the Gupkar Alliance as it was popularly known In December Gupkar Alliance won 110 seats in the District Development Council elections BJP emerged as the single largest party with 75 seats In January 2022 Kashmir Press Club the biggest organization of journalists in the valley witnessed a coup a group of members removed its ad hoc body and took over the control with alleged help from armed policemen umar abdullah called the takeover a state sponsored coup the editors guild of india said that it was aghast at the manner in which the takeover was done in may 2022 the delimitation commission's orders took effect stating that 43 constituencies would belong to Jammu region and 47 to Kashmir region after the delimitation the total seats in the assembly rose to 114 seats 24 seats fell under pakistan occupied kashmir in august 2023 supreme court started hearing petitions on a day to day basis in december supreme court of india upheld the center's decision to abolish article 370 It also stated that steps should be taken to conduct assembly elections by September 2024. In April 2024, right ahead of the crucial Lok Sabha elections, the Gupkar Alliance collapsed. Two major parties, the PTP and the NC, decided to contest the elections separately. In 2024 Lok Sabha elections, Jammu and Kashmir recorded highest turnout in four decades in the valley. On August 17, Election Commission announced the dates of the three-phase assembly polls in Jammu and Kashmir. Terrorism in post-abrogation Kashmir. Center claimed abrogation of Article 370 will help keep terrorism in check, but regional parties allege that it has not actually served its purpose. Farooq Abdullah कहते हैं हम धारा 370 वापस लाएंगे अरे अब्दुल्ला साहब तीन पीढ़ियां चली गई और तीन ला दो अब धारा 370 कोई वापस नहीं ला मैं से कहता हूं भैया 370 कहते नहीं जुम्मा था आतंकवाद था आज तो 370 पांच साल से नहीं है हां तो आज कैसे ये आतंकवाद है रीसेंट मंथ्स हैव सीन एन अपटिक इन द नंबर ऑफ इंसिडेंट्स ऑफ मिलिटेंट एक्टिविटी स्पेशली इन जम्मू In 2024 there have been 15 attacks in Jammu and 8 in Kashmir. 
19 soldiers were martyred and 18 were injured. 16 civilians have also lost their lives. On June 9, Riyasi saw one of the deadliest attacks on civilians in years. Nine Hindu pilgrims were killed and more than 30 people were injured after terrorists opened fire on a bus that was on its way back from a shrine. Riyasi is one of the 10 districts in Jammu. Rajouri, Poonch, Doda, Kathua, Udhampur are some of the other divisions of Jammu near the line of control that have seen terror attacks in 2024. The Indian Army has been conducting joint and coordinated operations with the police to eliminate terrorists. Some experts believe that India's intelligence network in Jammu is not as developed as it is in Kashmir. If the state has to progress, we have to stand with the rest of the nation so that we can remove the tragedies that have occurred in these 10 years and they are major tragedies.